Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. As you can see, we've got quite a pile of stuff here, so it's time for another delivery product unboxing. These are deliveries I've gotten in, in the last few days, so we're going to head and, go ahead and start cracking all of these open, and we're going to start with our smallest mailer. We've got a delivery from a store called Buy Your Command on Etsy. I'll provide a link to the Etsy store in the description down below. This should be more tokens for Eldritch Horror, but let's crack this open and see what we've got. So, as a f first of all, we see that we've got a Uline mailer in here. Now, as a funny, as a as what happened with this delivery, I should have been unboxing this probably like two or three weeks ago, but the first delivery actually got lost in the mail. So she put a she put a replacement mailer in a replacement delivery in the mail for me and said she threw some freebies in here as well. So hopefully we'll get to find out what's all in here. And how did this get secured so well? I can't even find a way to get this. Okay, wait a minute. Hang on. I think I found a way inside. This is giving me a fit to get this thing open. Okay, never mind. Let's pull the invoice out of shot. Okay. Let's see what we've got. So in here, looks like we've got sets of the... Looks like we've got eight sets of the improvement and impairment tokens. So these are the tokens for influence. Actually, let me pull one of these out. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in here we've got a plus one influence, and then they flip into plus two. Cool. Similar for impairments. We can see one in the bag there. Minus one, and flips into minus two. We've got sets of those for each stat. This one is this one's lore improvement. We've got will, I believe that's impairment. Strength improvements. Strength impairments. Observation Impairment, Observation Improvement, and Will Improvement. And it looks like as the freebie, she sent along some Eldritch tokens. So very nicely done there. We'll probably feature those the next time we get... Let me make sure there wasn't anything else. Oh, wait a minute. There was something else in here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Looks like those are tentacle tokens. I'll have to look and see what those are. But these... Maybe it's two different styles of Eldritch tokens, but these are definitely what I would consider the Eldritch tokens. So it might be... It might just be two different styles of Eldritch tokens. I'll have to hit up her... I'll have to hit up the Etsy store and see what they actually are. But that's the delivery from By Your Command. Now let's bring another mailer in shot. We've got a few mailers in here from Amazon. I think all of our next three deliveries are going to be Amazon mailers. So let's crack this one open and see what we've got. Now it's going to seem weird at for, to do it in this order, but it'll all make sense by the time we're done with this product unboxing. So in here, we see that we've got five, if I can ever get them out, We've got five game trays, five counter trays from Flying Buffalo Games. I do feel the top of the covering in there. So uh, you might have seen these with some of the GMT, some of the other games that I've gotten, either gotten or put together. But these are crap. These are component trays that you can use to store the counters. You most often see these with war games, as we've done several times in the past. But that's it for that delivery. Now let's bring our next mailer in shot. 
We've got yet another mailer here from Amazon. So this feels thin enough to be another book. Let's crack, let's tear this open and see what we've got. Thankfully a nice easy tear to open mailer. And in here we've got the last of the book games that Historic Wings and Thomas Van Harris put out. We've got Tally Ho. Taking a quick look at this. Tally Ho is another solitaire air war game. This one about the Battle of Britain, fought in the skies over England in the summer of 1940 between the Royal Air Force and the, of Great Britain and the Luftwaffe of Germany during the Second World War. To clear the way for Hitler's planned invasion of England, Operation Sea Low, aka Sea Lion, the Germans had to first secure air superiority by destroying the Royal Air Force. Designed by Thomas Van Hare, Tally Ho, the first of a series of book-based games, Tally Ho features fast-playing action with 15 missions to play, easy-to-understand rules, and a campaign game that brings the backstory of one of histor history's most extraordinary aerial conflicts to life. Can you win the Battle of Britain? The future of Great Britain rests on your shoulders. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties, and so bear ourselves that, if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say... This was their finest hour. Winston Churchill, 18th of June, 1940. So that's that now completes my collection, like I said, of historic Wings games. I played Mag 23 Guadalcanal last night for the first time. I did enjoy it, but there's a lot I need to unpuzzle about that game. It just, I don't know, it didn't, the rules didn't seem very clear to me, and I think I just need to play through that a few more times, but... I do very heavily like the narrative, fo the very heavy narrative focus in that game. So I'm definitely going to get it out again. But let's move into our next mailer from Amazon. This is actually our last mailer from Amazon for this product unboxing. So let's get this cracked open and see what we've got. Looks like it tears up here. I think. Oh, looks like it pulls to open this way. Okay. All right, and in here we've got the official Halo cookbook, Recipes from Across the Galaxy by Victoria Rosenthal. Everything you need to go from Master Chief to Master Chef. Learn to make awesome appetizers, mouthwatering main dishes, decadent desserts, and more to fuel even the hungriest of Spartans. Revisit the famous eateries in the far-flung places humanity has touched, such as the coffee shop, Havada Gudvan, the occasional, the iconic Franks Down in Old Mombasa, the upscale Jave Samoa on Gannick 22, and the high, fleece dining ex high fleet dining experiences found wherever USNC troops go, and many more. The universe may be cold and vast, but good food can make any place feel like home. Cool, so it's another cookbook I can dig into for mystical munchies. That's it for that delivery. Now let's bring in our bigger boxes and we've got a new face on the channel. This is the first time we've had a company called CLS Games on the channel with a delivery. So I've seen them a few times as I've looked for games on the geek, but nothing had caught my eye. Well, a few things had caught my eye when I happened to find them as a seller but I was usually able to find the game else, find the game I was looking at at the time elsewhere. This time, however, a game caught my eye from them, and this was the only place I could get it from. So let's see what we've got in here. Slice there. Turn here. And we'll bring the knife up here. Oop. Should be able to just not. Okay. Uh, we've got packing foam. Great fun. I'm going to put that out of my way for the time being. And as we dig in, trying not to spill it everywhere, we've got a copy of, actually it's packing peanuts, but we've got a copy of American Tank Ace 1944-45 to from Compass Games. It's a solitaire tank combat game by Gregory M. Smith. If you know that name, it's because of the Hunters games. I've been really liking the Hunters series, and so I'm looking forward to digging into this one. Let's take a quick look at the back. 
American Tank Ace is a 1944 to 45 is a solitaire tactical level game that places you in command of a U.S. tank during World War II in the European theater of operations. You will make the tactical decision the tank commander faced and control the actions of your crew while trying to survive. We'll probably we'll have a deeper product unboxing on that later, but this looks like a really cool game, and I like the heavy narrative style from Gregory M. Smith, so I'm expecting to enjoy this one a lot as well. But that will do it for that delivery. Now we've got another familiar face on the channel. Once again, we have a delivery in from Noble Knight. So you'll notice a theme with these games, but let's get this cracked open and see what we've got in here. Get some of that tape off. Slice this open. Hopefully there isn't a lot of void fill in here. So of course, there's a ton of void fill. We've got craft paper, which can hit the bin. And air, which isn't too bad. And we see our first delivery here. is Night Fighter Ace, which is Air Defense over Germany, 1943 to 45, by Compass Games. So we can pull it out of the way, and we see that we've got another game here by Gregory M. Smith. There's a quick look at the back, where Night Fighter Ace Defense over Germany is a solitaire tactical level game, which places you in command of a German night fighter during World War II. Each turn consists of several days, during which a combat mission will be flown from one of many bases in Europe, attempting to intercept British bombers. Night Fighter Ace, based on the popular action-packed Hunter's game system by Gregory M. Smith, with a strong, is based with a strong narrative focus around the pilot as you look to increase your prestige, earn skills, and rise ranks through promotion and receive awards. So you might notice that there's a bag around it. This is a this is actually a used game, and I think I'm going to unbox this first. When I go, I'm going to go deep on every on all the games in here, but I think that one's going to be first, just because the last time I bought a used game at the price I got this one for, I ended up with a mess on my hands. So I'm not eager for a repeat on that. But we'll see. The last game we've got in here is actually new and shrink. And it's another Gregory M. Smith design in Defending America, Intercepting the America Bombers, 1947 to 48. Quick look at the back on this one. This is another solitaire, another solitaire tactical level game, placing you in command of an experimental interceptor during a frightening look at what might have been in World War II. So the basic premise of this one, I'll close the knife, the basic premise here is that World War II has turned into a disaster, and now the Nazis are actually threatening to invade the United States. So these bombers are going to be intercepting the... trying to intercept the Germans. But that's it for everything that was in the box. That was, that's actually it for this delivery unboxing. Sunday, the fall campaign continues with its fourth scenario, Return to the Unspeakable Oath. And next week, on Wednesday, we'll be stepping back into the background campaign for Hero Realms. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care, everyone.